Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is for every zodiac sign and this is a special midnight reading. I'm using two different oracle decks. First, Monology and second one. And the answer deck, okay. Hi, I hope you are well. Let me begin with this shit with <laughs> It's not shamanic. I was always using the shamanic healing deck, but today I'm gonna use the monology. Okay, let's see what's gonna be your weekend energy. Okay, everyone, this is for every zodiac sign. Okay, the first card from the monology deck is this one. Surrender to the divine, everyone. Surrender to the divine. You know, there are many things that we cannot control in our lives. Whether you have undergone some traumatic, traumatic event or not so far, you will get to know that there is some divine power beyond our imagination. One thing that we can control is our mindset. No matter what comes to you, if you give up, there is no hope. No matter what comes to you, you should trust the universe. You should trust the divine power. Whether you are religious or not, whether you are from the Christian background or from Buddhist background, or from Hindi background, or Muslim background, it doesn't matter. You have your own faith in yourself, connecting with the God. However you name the God, depending on your religious faith. Throughout our lives, there are so many ups and downs, and there are so many obstacles and hurdles and challenging moments. There are so many emotional outbursts coming and going, so many goodbyes, so many tears. But I feel like that's just a part of our journey. Sometimes we cry a lot. And sometimes we feel so much happiness and joy in our soul and body. That's just life, everyone. You have to surrender to divine. Whatever comes to you, trust the universe, trust the divine power. Everything will be okay. And this will pass as well. Whatever comes to you. Be strong. Beautiful message. Okay, the second message from the Moonology Day for today is this one. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry everyone. Nothing will come of this situation. Nothing will come of this situation. That's why. That's why you feel at a loss. That's why you don't know where to go. Dead end. You feel like there is no hope. Yeah, I can feel your pain. I've been there too. Whenever I was so depressed, I live on the 40th floor. That's, you know, from the 40th floor, everything seems very peaceful. Unlike my mind. Unlike my emotion, everything seems very calm out there. It's such a beautiful night, rainy day here. Rainy night, rainy Saturday night. But sometimes I feel like giving up. Sometimes there is no hope, there is no dream. Nothing seems happening. 
nothing and nobody seems interested in me, right? I can feel you. You feel the same way. But in that case, never give up your life. You just have to detour. You just have to go to another direction. That's the life lesson that I'm learning every day. If a certain situation doesn't give you any happiness here, you just simply have to say goodbye to the situation and go find, take adventure, go find something better. Better here means something more exciting for you, something more fulfilling. It's not about adjusting to a certain situation. Life is too short. Are you going to just keep adjusting to that environment, to that situation, even though the environment doesn't give you the reward, doesn't give you the fruitful situation, a fruitful outcome? Why are you sticking? Why are you there? Why are you stick, stuck there? With a lot of pain here. Just have to go away from the situation. Get away from the situation. Go find something new. Okay? Go find something amazing. There are many other life paths. There are many other opportunities waiting for you. Waiting for your options. Waiting for your choices. My beautiful soul families. If you think that there is no hope, there is no debt, no dream at all, look back, look around. There must be some other opportunities. Okay, from the angel, compromise. Angel said that you have to compromise. If you are not happy with, their, with the situation there, have to compromise within yourself I'm not saying to change the environment dramatically I'm just trying to persuade you with this compromise card everyone you can gradually slowly but steadily pursue your dream how make one little change if you are not happy with the situation Try to change one little thing every day. If there is one little thing that you can change, eventually there will be one little, not little, one big change will come to you. I'm telling you from my experience. I was always complaining about my situation. I was always complaining about my situation. But one day, I realized that I'm wasting my precious time. So I started doing something, something, only for myself. Instead of changing the whole environment, I st I've started doing one little thing only for my own happiness. Whether there was drawing, whether there was buying some t-shirt, small shopping. Whether that's just getting away from the family responsibilities. One little habit, one little change eventually made me happier. So my friends, let's do change one little thing. Okay, another beautiful message from the angel answer card will be, okay, wait, wait a moment. Okay, you are ready, everyone, you are ready. Trust the universe, 
trust yourself, have faith in you. Whether some of you might doubt yourself, I'm not ready. I don't have a certain amount of money to pursue a dream where you can say, oh, there are so many other factors affecting my life right now. So I don't think I'm ready. Right? I can hear you right. But you're ready. You know that you're ready. But even though you know that you're ready, you're not taking action to change your life. Why? What are you afraid of? Don't be afraid of making mistakes. Life is all about making errors. Mistakes. I'm making a lot of mistakes as well. And I'm willing to make a lot of mistakes in the future throughout my life. Because how can I progress without making a single mistake. See the toddler when they start to run or walk they fall down so many times but eventually as time goes by they are very fast runner they become fast runner yeah and you too you're ready. You're ready to run. You're ready to move forward. You just have to trust yourself. You have the power within yourself, my lovely friends. Okay? Let's change one little thing as of today. You want to have beautiful life, an abundant life? You have to change one little habit. As of today, okay? <laughs> but the universe just gave me. Wait. You're ready? Okay, come on, Angel. We are ready to take action. But the angel said, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, not he. No, no. Really? Okay. Should we wait? Until when? Oh, until the divine timing comes. Okay, okay, I'm hearing you, my lovely angels. The angel just said that. It, okay, we have to, we have to keep ourselves rejuvenated, keep ourselves energized, you know, like a, like a horse. When they are ready to run, they were just their energy, physical energy, and emotional level, all full, right? All up. And when the door just open, they run fast, fast. So you have to wait. Wait. Get. Set. Go. Right? Beautiful. We will wait until the beautiful divine timing comes. But don't forget that you are ready. You are ready to jump. You are ready to take that action. You are ready to take the leap of faith. Okay, beautiful. Three messages. Okay, we are ready. We are ready. Okay, you know what? We are ready. Now, take action. Okay, Angel. You are ready, but you just have to wait a little bit. Okay, and take a deep breath. Now, it's time to take action. Beautiful. Thank you. Take action. Because there will be definitely abundance ahead of your life if you uh, if you take that action if you take one little change if you change one little thing and take action abundance is coming your way beautiful financial abundance of course emotional abundance and love life will be blossoming too your family members will be happy and you will be happy and of course your health will be improving improving health Physical health, emotional health. Beautiful. I don't even have to go detail about the beautiful messages. Tonight, I'm so grateful for these beautiful messages. I'm so grateful that I decided, instead of going to bed, you know, it's about 1.30 a.m., I guess, here in Korea. I just decided to give you the, the 
the uh, messages. There was some download and channeling started. So abundance at the end of the day, you will be really happy about the decision that you are going to make. As of today, change one little thing. Gradually, you will be more happier. Your life will be more abundant. Thank you for watching. And let's change it one little thing as of today. You promise me. What are you going to change? Comment. Bye. I love you guys.